Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Wild Spartan 11. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but end of the term finals, studying for them and doing all the final projects and getting them all turned in has been taking up a lot of my time. And it sucks, because I really enjoy the game, and I'm not going to let this Let's Play be one of those ones I don't finish. So let's go ahead and load into the game. I haven't progressed in the story at all since we last left off, because that would be wrong. But, I have done a little bit of off-camera, like I did the skirmish maps, there's only two of them, so it's not like I was, like, grinding forever. And, um, I upgraded some of our supplies, so that should be good, we got better armor, and some of our dudes have better weapons. But anyway, let's hop into the game. Yes. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Huzzah. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. Hmm. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer, taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. Probably means no tanks. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. Okay. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Hmm. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What are you kidding me? That's fun! What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. Yes, it's great! It's beautiful infantry grind out. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Yeah. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... I think that's a reference. I know what he's talking about. The Sundew, which is basically a plant which, when bugs stick to it, they get dissolved by the enzymes that are on the plant. It's a pretty cool plant, actually. It looks nice, too. Alright, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind. You know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a mm. burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. See, I don't know if there is a moon dew, though, but I know there's sun dews, and sun dews are, you know, a form of carnivorous plant. All right. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hmm. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. They don't eat metal. New episode. Is this where we get to fight? Fight! Oh, it's a cutscene. Uh oh. It's an Empire base. Uh -oh. Looks like we're meeting our antagonist. Leader of the Northern Galleon invasion. Okay. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men oh of gosh. our defensive units Anime cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? 
We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Galia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. <clears throat> A few things about that. So we got to meet our antagonists and the commanders for the center, north, and south invasion forces. I'm gonna say... God damn it, why do anime things always make, like, women have stupid breasts? Like, those breasts didn't even make sense. Unless she had, like, a weird push-up thing going on, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. God damn it, you can just make them normal! But whatever. That part kind of annoys me, but I guess I can overlook the hair color since everybody has crazy hair color in these shows. But yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be fighting Jaeger. So, that'll be fun. He had a goat skull or something on his shoulder. It's kind of interesting. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. <laughs> He's picking flowers or some shit. Here we go. Oh. Just found. Hey, great. Nuts. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! <laughs> Maybe whole poo? Are you crazy? <sighs> hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Why do you want have her to a natural hold on to instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. Hold the phone. Just because an animal wants to take a clear path, it doesn't mean they're going to a fucking supply base. It probably means they're going to water, or a nest, or wherever they live, or migratory paths. It doesn't mean they're going to the where you want to go. Is she holding a pig with wings in that picture? Is that what I see there? Oh god. That's really nice, Rosie. <laughs> what song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Her personnel file said she was a bartender. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to yep. sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. Maybe when we're not shooting each other. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. Russell, Russell. 
We're not alone. <laughs> oh, I'll go I didn't mean to skip that. Put your hands in the air. It's gonna be a pig. No. What the fuck is that thing? It's a pig. It has like flesh wings. It looks like a porcavian piglet. What? Well, that's creepy. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? They're gonna be killed or something. There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Dead. Oh. It's even all the way out here. The war is still claiming lives. Well, if their pigs are anything like our pigs, people are going to be killing them anyway. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. It's a fucking pig. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mink? Mink! That thing is so stupid. <laughs> Why is that part of this game? The game actually had some serious stuff going on. Oh, I have like a pig with weird wigs. God damn it. Whatever. Let's get into the freaking... The painful part. Try to remove that pig from my mind with bloodshed. Here is a brief on the task at hand. You're not even here. Enemy supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Alright. Your squad will sweep in an attack from the west. Okay. Let's just hit the bank. Tank. Well, ah, base head on with your tank while foot soldiers take the north pass behind the enemy's back. Your objective is occupation. Mm hmm. I planted mines all across, so lead with scouts, follow with tanks. An engineer can dismantle? Okay. A tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage? Okay, anti-tank mines. Right, so anti-personnel, anti -tank. Yeah, okay. I got it. Twenty turns pass. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. I definitely need a scout to watch for things. I will want. I'd like to keep faster troops, but at the same time, well, I need Carl. Um. Got a shock trooper. I don't know if I really want a lancer. They're kind of slow. Um. We're gonna be in the woods. Hmm. Just trying to think of. Hmm. I got some new troops, I think. Like Juno. Yeah, let's just get another Long Ranger. It's fine. Okay, we got four more. This guy is definitely going to have a sniper. And of course, we need one more scout to spot for the sniper. Ted's a good choice. Um, thinking about it, I don't even know, well, Rosie Hans, Walter, none of them like anyone. You can hang out, though. Um, do I want another scout? Or a shock trooper? Vice is supposed to be pretty decent. Huh. Hmm. I don't 
don't have the best, um, like, I don't have the best sort of squad getting alongness or whatever, the whole likes thing. Let's get, let's get Vice in there. Let him kill some things. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the combat. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Damn straight. We should be able to do this. The question is how many people are going to die. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! Alright. So, first thing I want to move up are the scouts. Oh. The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. Okay. Team attacks. Sometimes when units near an out wait, sometimes when units near an allies attack, those allies will join in with supporting fire. Continue under support fire comes at no CP cost. The units in your squad have specific other members they like especially well. Will result in an exceptionally powerful attack. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies can be a smart way to defeat them. However, bundling up for it, yep, can lead to, uh, yep, yep. Know when to group up for offense and when to stay spread out. Okay, so when I'm, okay, so I can do an attack near somebody else and get a team attack. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what do they have? <sighs> Holy crap, that medium tank is 2,000. Oh. Okay. Two Lancers. Do I have a sniper with this group? I don't. I wonder how hard it will be to take this. Hmm. Worst case scenario, I can just, like, brute force my way. Because as long as Edelweiss can take the attacks from the front... It looks like they got sandbags, though. Okay, well, let's... Do I only have two? I do. It's fine. Moving out! Let's make sure we keep trees between us and the enemy. Looks like there's cover over there. Enemy sighted! What? Anti-tank gunnery sighted on the north bank. Pushing ahead could prove dangerous. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Okay. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Oi, can I not? Imperials closing in! Hmm. Quite the distance. Yeah. I got one shot on him. Time for a dirt nap, forest picnickers. Okay. We'll go ahead and station up. Ah! Behind Use this the trees for tree. 